Hey, Garrett Brill, I'm out here tonight with Jack White and Don Casey again, the test crew, and we are uh, running yet another test on the test matrix for your public safety UAS. And uh, tonight what we're going to do is we're going to put, uh, we're going to do deployment time, and we're going to put the M210 versus the Autel Evo 2 Dual versus, and we're just going to do one of the Mavics because the DJI Mavics are both going to deploy at the same time. All right. The goal behind this is to determine how much thought, how much insight a manufacturer has put into their into the deployment time. How much are they thinking of our needs? Uh, how much does it also apply to us and, and what we can do? Now, one of the things we have to do is we're going to make this as it comes from the manufacturer. So, you know, a few things like, for instance, on the on the Evo 2 Dual, I put the crystal sky on there. That's going to be removed because it needs to come from just as it is with Autel. All right. So anyway, uh, Don's going to run the stopwatch. That's what he has in his hand there. Jack is going to be for consistency. Jack is going to do the deployment time on all three systems. All right, Jack. So whenever you're ready, go ahead. If you'll start it, Don. So we're doing this with Jack actually coming out of his vehicle, which you saw them. He went and he got into his vehicle, got out, and he's getting it as if he was just showed up on the scene. This is in the original DJI case. Remember this, the reason that the 210 is in this test matrix is because everybody wanted to compare the XT2, not necessarily the 210. 210, the platform is a totally different platform than the compact uh, Mavic and the Autel Evo 2 Dual. But, the smallest platform that'll carry the X-T2 uh, is the M210, so that's why it is included in the test matrix. So you notice Jack is, he's not going any kind of mad rush. He's just doing this as if he was moving urgently, but uh, not panic. And this is what you'd kind of hope and expect uh, at an emergency deployment, expediently. And there's the XT2 payload. And by the way, the timer stops on this. Just so you know, the timer stops on each one of these. Uh, we're, we're indoors. Uh, we're actually not indoors. We're in this undercover uh, here. And the reason that we're doing this in the evening is really two reasons. Uh, one, because it's hot in Texas this time of year. And I just really wanna, wouldn't want to put that on Jack to, wouldn't ask him to do this out and sweat in the, in the heat of the sun. And we need to be under this cover for the light for him to do this properly and to record it. So this test will, the stopwatch with a stop, the timer will stop. Uh, we're not gonna actually take off, but it's gonna be as soon as the rotors spin, then Don will stop the timer back there. It looks like he's connected. Looks like he has. Okay, compass abnormal. So the motors won't start. But go ahead and stop the stopwatch, Don. Okay, so he he had a compass abnormal. That that is uh, one of the latest things we've had with the 210 that we have to do every time. So, but let's uh, let's zoom in here and get the time. So. 
time to deploy the M210 out of the factory crate uh, to the time that you would spend the props. That does not involve a, a compass calibration or anything like that. It is uh, three and a half minutes. All right, and so we're gonna go ahead. We'll be back here in just a minute and we're, we'll do the uh, next, next unit. Okay, so uh, we finished the 210. Again, it was about three minutes and 30 seconds. Next up, we are gonna do one of the DJI Mavics. See how that goes. Again, uh, Jack will be the, uh, the, the individual that is doing the test for us and Don will be timing. So whenever you're ready, Jack, go ahead. Okay. Timer has started, correct? Yes, it is, I see that. Okay, now, so he went over, got in his car, got out again. This is deployment as if he arrived on scene. So I know there may be some people thinking, well, I deploy out of, I have these already expanded open in, in the back of my Tahoe and something like that. And that's great. And, and the idea behind this test is to how these things are um, designed by the manufacturer to where you don't have to improvise or before improvising. Now you can always improvise and make things faster. You could, you could uh, have the thing mounted to the top of your vehicle if you wanted. So you see Jack's already put the battery in there and powered it on. Now he's getting the controller and he's putting his cell phone in there. Again, we're, we actually usually fly these with the Crystal Sky, but it was not designed to do that uh, as it came from the factory. So we are using the phone. This is the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. Okay, stop the timer, prop spun. All right, can you come over here, Don, so we can get that time, please? Thank you, Jack. All right, let's zoom in. All right, one minute, 49.22 seconds. So just under two minutes to deploy the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. All right, well, the Mavic got one minute, 49 seconds and a little, some change. And so the last up uh, of this set, we're gonna, we're gonna put the Mavic score on both Mavics because they're the same on deployment. But last up is going to be the Autel Evo 2 Dual. And uh, it's, again, same configuration, same testers, same pace, same everything. Uh, Jack, whenever you're ready, go ahead. And again, just to clarify that uh, the reason he's doing what he's doing, he doesn't just walk around cars for fun, but um, he's doing this because this is a simulated deployment where he arrived on scene and they asked him to deploy his UAS. So he got out of the vehicle. Um, UAS was stored in the same location every time. All right. Aircraft is on the ground, powered up. Now he is working on the control. And again, just to reiterate, uh, usually what I like to use on this is the Crystal Sky, but everything was changed to factory with that little cell phone clamp and we're using a cell phone for a display. Um, now, the Autel does have a built-in display, but for consistency and reality, um, we're using the, a cell phone because that's what we do in reality. App is launched. Stop time. Okay, props are spun. Okay, if you bring the time over here, bring the stopwatch over here. All right, and it is focused. All right, one minute and 16 seconds, uh, almost one minute and 17 seconds. So, um, hey Jack, I just had a curiosity. So to you, the guy doing 
doing the actual deployment on this, what was the difference? Obviously the 210 is pretty exhaustive and most agencies, well, I, actually I know some of them that do deploy out of that box, but what was the biggest difference say between the Mavic and this one of it just taking less time? What, what seemed to take more time? Uh, because you're, you're folding the arms straight out instead of having to go under. I think that plays a big part in it. And the way the battery's mounted. Battery mount, just throw it in there, the way the arms fold. It did seem that you had the aircraft on the ground uh, pretty quick. What about the uh, app deployment time? One thing that, that I've noticed personally is that the Autel app launches a whole heck of a lot faster than the pilot app. I mean, we're, we're, we're talking sometimes, you know, 10, 20 seconds, 30 seconds for the pilot app. That seemed to make a difference too. Yep. All right. All right. Well, thanks guys. Uh, good test and uh, on to the next one.